Hey guys, it's Kill with Pave Tool. Today we're going to be working on getting ourselves prepared for our upcoming project. And I can't stress to you guys enough how important it is to do these calculations for your square footage, your yardage of concrete, all of those things before you start the project. So when you're out there, you don't have three guys standing around waiting for you to do those calculations in preparation for the next day. So in this case here, I'm gonna be looking for a construction calculator. You can either get one of these in uh, any of the box stores, otherwise your app store will also be able to assist you with getting a construction calculator. So you can see we have a full size project here. We have a grill island up top, which we'll go into detail later. A patio up on the top. We have a shower down here, down below. Set of stairs going down this existing patio here but what we're really going to do is focus in on this patio right here and I want to work through some functions on a construction estimator calculator which I find is a very useful tool for calculating projects. So in this here we have a 10 foot by 46 foot long patio. We're going to figure on going at extra foot of gravel or base material on the outside edge. We're actually going to have to excavate that out as well as fill it back in. So this will give us a good idea of how much material we have to excavate and bring in. Obviously there's a lot of functions on this estimating calculator. We're just going to go through a couple of them. What we're going to do is figure out the yardage and the tons of material that we're going to remove. So let's figure an extra foot on 10 feet would bring us to 11 feet. We're gonna times that by 64 down here. We're actually gonna make that 68, or 48, sorry, it's 46, so 48 feet. And now let's say that this area around the pool is fairly level. So right in here, this all before excavation was level and we're gonna excavate it and bring it in with soil and it's all gonna stay pretty similar as to where it was before as far as pitch. So let's figure that we're gonna excavate down 12 inches from top of coping, which is probably where the soil is now. So we're gonna times that 48 times 12 inches is gonna equal 19.5 cubic yards. Now in excavation, you are gonna have what I call a fluff fluff and fluff is when you excavate you have extra material it's packed right now but when you excavate it it turns into a little bit of fluff so we're going to add five percent to that so now it looks like for this area here we're going to be excavating 20.53 cubic yards of material as well as bringing in 20.5 cubic yards of material now this section over here, we're 10 feet here. We have 15 feet total. That brings us to five feet from here to here. Now I already calculated an extra foot across here. So we don't actually have to add the foot in the width wise. So as far as this dimension, we don't have to add anything, but let's add two feet to 15, which brings us to 17 feet. We're gonna do 17 feet times it by five feet, times that by 12 inches again, and that's gonna give us 3.14. Again, we have to add our 5% to that, which is now gonna give us 3.30 cubic yards. So 3.3 plus the 20, so we have 20. 5.3 plus 3.30. We're gonna add those, so it's 3, 8.32. So we have 23.83 cubic yards of material that we're gonna be hauling off site and also hauling back in. Now, if you figure a triaxle load is 16 yards on average, could be more in your area, depending on your, your weight limits for DOT. But 16 yards on average is what you're gonna be able to carry. 
So now I know that in theory, I'm gonna need more than one traxel load of material hauled out. And that'll give us an idea of cost wise, as well as time. Cause obviously you're gonna have that time where the truck is driving the material to the pit and then back. So that's gonna give you that idea. And that's what I like about this construction calculator. It makes it super simple and easy. We used one of the functions on this calculator today. There's so many different options, so many different things you can do with it to help you on your projects become more efficient and have more accurate calculations. If you guys wanna see what some of these other functions do, don't be afraid to comment below and we'll try to answer those questions.